wow. This is Eddie Berrios from the Bronx, and all I can say is wow. So this woman goes to court twice. She can't prove that she's being threatened. She can't prove that her life is being threatened, especially by the, the main person that she takes to court, which is Tommy. So now she's making videos asking victims to come forward to talk to her because there's a lot of victims. Oh, my God. I mean, she can't prove this. She never could. And now she wants to suck other people into this crap. We all get criticized online, all of us. We all get disagreed with. We even get cursed out all the time. But I think Rashida Strober, if she actually had proof of her, her life being threatened, she would actually post it so we can all see it. And she hasn't done that. She only says it. She only keeps saying my life is threatened. She, so, she, so, she shows a lot of phone numbers, unlisted phone numbers. You don't know who the hell they're coming from. And she's actually saying that she got called one day like 20 times. But she didn't record any of the calls. We're talking about Rashida Strober. If somebody called her phone 20 times and kept calling from an unlisted number, wouldn't you think she would record that phone call? Of course she would. She, she is now the activist of, of pity. She's the victim activist. I have yet to see anybody threaten her life on any video, on any posting. I've seen people curse her out, just like she's cursed me out. She's cursed a lot of people out. And nobody threatens her to take her to court or, or orders of protection or anything like that. So I watched that new video and, and she's, she's unhinged. I'm sorry to say, Ms. Rashida Strober, you're unhinged. You are you you have spent the last month just playing the victim and using the race card. And it's crazy because you're using the race card against other black folks. You want to call police on other black folks for accusations that you can't even prove. And you're doing all of this to black folks. I mean, what the hell's going on here? What happened to your activism? The first and only activist here to help black folk. All this because people criticize you? All this because people don't agree with what you say? People don't believe your claims? They call you out on it? You curse them out? They curse you back out? And you make up these lies about having your life threatened. You even, you even went as far as saying that they're tre threatening your daughter. I saw that video where you said they're threatening your daughter. You know that's a lie. You know that's a lie like most things that you say. So now you want to call FBI. You want to call the police. You want to take people. You know you're doing all of this to black folks. What kind of dark-skinned black activist are you? Are you serious? It's a damn shame. It's a shame. And, and you don't care. You have no shame. You only care about your dark skin, Miss Strober. That's the only dark skin that you care about is your dark skin. You don't care about black people. You only care about yourself. And that's obvious from your actions that you do all the time. You keep screaming about people threatening your life. Prove it. Like I said in my previous video, prove it. Prove to the people that you're trying. You know, you're on YouTube telling your followers and telling YouTube that people are threatening your life. Why don't you prove it? Why don't you just show a couple of clips? 
Because if they're doing it, you're seeing it, they're sending it to you. Why don't you prove it? You know why? Because it's not true and you don't have it. You're not going to shut people up this way. It's, it's not going to work. You're not... You're online lying to people, begging for money all the time, 24-7. That's what you do. When people call you out on that stuff, you get upset and you make up stories that you're being threatened. It's very simple, Rashida. You want people to believe you? You say you don't care if they believe you or not, but you making all these videos and now you're begging for other people to come forward. If anybody's been threatened, come forward. You want to suck them into your ridiculous bullshit? Are you looking for people to come forward that's been threatened supposedly by Tommy? Is that, is that the main guy you're after right now? Or just threatened by anyone? All you got to do is prove it. It's very simple. You like to prove things, right? And when you can't prove things, you get pissed off, you get upset, you curse people out, and you go nuts, and you make these crazy videos, and you've been doing it for the last month. And now you went to court again, it didn't work out for you again, and now you are desperate. Now you have turned to begging for people to come and save you. If, if, if anybody, please come forward. It's a damn shame. It's a shame what you have turned into, Mrs. Strober. It's a damn shame. Eddie Burials from the Bronx.